Hey guys, Coach Steph here with a little check-in. Um, I've been doing my client check-ins the last couple of days and a couple of things have come up for some people and I wanted to address those in a video. Um, one, I had a client ask me, um, help me figure out what to do when I bake all my holiday cookies for my family. Um, I'm just getting back on plan, I'm just getting back into fat burn and I'm really worried because I'm gonna start making my holiday cookies um, coming up here soon. So um, if you guys watched my baking uh, video I made this summer about zucchini bread, I kind of went through and you know we talked about the same thing. Like, okay, first of all, are you strong enough to resist your homemade baked food? I'm not. Personally, I am absolutely not. And it's always my downfall every single time I bake. I tell myself I'm not gonna eat it. Um, and sometimes I don't the first day, but I usually do the second day. And, um, and so we talked a little bit about that and we talked about changing traditions and sometimes looking at a tradition and examining it and deciding, is this tradition serving me? Um, if it's not, you need to examine it and you need to maybe change it. You guys, I totally get it. Um, I baked with my mom growing up. It was one of the things we shared. I'm an only daughter. My mom has Alzheimer's. Um, she's not really around anymore. And so sometimes I really get those urges to go bake with my kids to remember those good times I had with my mom. So believe me, I really do get it. Um, and it is difficult to come up with things besides baking. Um, baking's a really easy one. It's fun, kids love it, but it got me in a lot of trouble growing up. I always had weight issues and I think a lot of it was because every single Sunday we baked something. It was usually a cake or some kind of sweet and you always overeat them and then you eat them for a few days, you know, and that was just a tradition in my house and it was not serving anyone in my house because we all had weight issues growing up, including my parents. Um, so look at all of your traditions and decide, like if you always make homemade caramels if you always make homemade rolls and you tell yourself, I'm not gonna eat these, maybe you're not gonna eat them. But is there something else that you can do um, that will serve you? Because maybe you're gonna have great willpower that day, maybe you won't. Are the people in your life struggling with their weight? Um, Sometimes little kids aren't, but you know, you as a little kid may have not struggled, but you do now. And so, you know, it's really powerful to just start new traditions that we can um, that will lead us down a path of health, you know, and for our children too. So that was one thing we talked about. Another thing that came up a few different times were some strategies for going through the holidays um, with a lot of power, a lot of personal power. One thing that helped me a lot, because a lot of you guys know I lost my weight during the holidays last year. Um, December, I was down to my last 10 pounds. Those are the hardest. Um, I went to lots of holiday parties and to everyone I was looking great. I was probably smaller than I'd ever been, but I wasn't quite at my goal. So I got a lot of food pushing. People would set a piece of toffee on my plate and say, Steph, you look great. Have a piece of toffee, it's not a big deal. You've been so good all during the fall, like you deserve this. And you know what I would tell them? I know how that toffee tastes because I've eaten it every single year. Um, I absolutely know what toffee tastes like. I know what caramels taste like. I know, and you guys have heard this video, but I know what Reese's trees taste like. I know what um, homemade rolls taste like, but I didn't know what it felt like to be wearing skinny jeans during the month of December and to go into January, not making a new year's resolution to lose weight. Um, I didn't know what that felt like because I had done that every year since I was 11 years old. How sad is that? Um, I didn't know what that felt like, but I did know what all that food tasted like. And so that, that little thought, like if you can keep that in mind, I know what all those foods taste like, but I don't know what it feels like to feel great. And I don't know what it feels like to go on a rope swing in the summer with my family. And I don't know what it feels like to wear shorts, or I don't know what it feels like to wear a bikini, or I don't know what it feels like to wear a button up shirt I haven't worn one in so long because they haven't been fitting me um, for men. So um, examine your holiday traditions, decide if they're serving you, come up with some strategies because you guys are gonna get food pushing during the holidays. Um, my third strategy for the food pushers is to say, you know, if there's like a really special thing and they're like, you have to try this, um, tell people, you know, I'll try it later. They don't know that later is in a year from now, or when you're at your goal, or later's next Christmas. They don't know that. Um, later doesn't have to mean that, but they kind of get some off your back. 
hold a drink, walk around with a drink in your hand, keep it in your dominant hand during the holiday parties. You guys are gonna have less food pushing. So those are some of my best holiday tips. I'd love to hear some of yours. Um, let me know how I can help. If you guys are having a specific problem, whether it's baking, food pushing, um, whatever it is, and if you want me to make a video on it, like if you say, Steph, conquer this topic for me, I'm having trouble with it, um, let me know and I'll make a video about it. Okay, thanks so much, you guys. Take care and let's rock the month of December, okay? Let's rock it, bye.